there's a I think it's a yellow tailed black cockatoo <laughs> it's been chased by all the, the white cockatoos I was wondering what the racket was this morning I guess they don't like him in their territory how funny is that okay there he goes and chased by all the, the cockies I think they're going to chase those two black cockatoos until they get out of their territory. Where are you two going, eh? Where are you going to land? Whoa! <laughs> Aerial shots. <laughs> oh, play nice cockatoos. All right, maybe that's them gone now. Cockatoos really didn't like that. Everyone is unhappy this morning. <laughs> Oh, how funny. All right, you guys going to be quiet now. Oh, yeah, all right. I think that's that's it. They're they're done. <laughs> all right. <laughs> See you soon. G'day guys. Welcome back. I'm going to be doing a little three cup flip and drag with um global paints today uh, I have been moving away from global and moving on to Montmartre so I'm just going to use up um, some of the paints that I've got left I have got a lot left um, still be using them in the um, beginners classes but I just wanted to see how they would react with my latest 6040 pouring medium um, not that there's a lot of difference, but I usually go 65-35 with global, but I just want to see what happens today if I change it, make it a slightly little bit thinner, and I'll go from there. So I'm just going to do some purples and turquoise and a pink today with two lots of white. Uh, the paints have got 60 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of paint that's two ounces of pouring medium and two ounces of paint this thick this um, purple one here had to have a little bit of extra pouring medium it was a bit thick uh, but the rest of them are just one to one uh, the white I'm not using global white because as you know it splits I'm using the Montmartre white but the other colors are the global I will tell you about them in a minute I'm just gonna start layering um, and I'm gonna do three three cups and two layers it's got my card here my thick card that I use it's a 30 by a 40 centimeter or 12 by 16 inch great for practicing on or if you just want to do a little quick pour you don't want to have to you know waste a whole big canvas it's a good thing just to have a play on these. You can frame them, um, get nice thick ones, that way they won't bend. And my mix is really thick, so I have a, a thick card and I have a thick layer of paint and they just dry nice and flat. I don't have a problem with them bending or warping or anything like that. There are links for these um, on my Pouring Your Heart Out Facebook page in the files. So if you want to know where I get them from, eBay and Amazon links are there. And uh, you're more than welcome to join the group. The more the merrier, hey? This is the dark purple going in here. It's the dioxazine purple. So I've got two purples, the dioxazine and the regular purple. This one's going to go a little bit pink with the white, I've found. That it does that, but anyway. As I said, I just want to try... The thinner pouring medium see how it goes and I just like doing videos so <laughs> why not and I need to use up my paint so there you go a few reasons a few reasons why okay finish that off 
and I know these colors are quite dominant uh, so I'm adding in two cups of white hopefully that's enough and so I should have um, what did I end up with one two three four five six cups I've got about 700 grams of mixed paint, I think. So I had 60 in each cup. There's six cups. Oh, sorry, 60 of pouring medium and 60 of paint. That's 120 grams by six cups. So it's roughly 700 grams of mixed paint, isn't it? And uh, so that's a, a good amount to have for this size. If you don't want to overstretch your cells. Between 600 and 700 grams is a good amount I've found. I've been using more paint lately just so that I can tilt all the paint over all the edges before I start torching. So I have been working on using a little bit more paint and also I've been working on using my mix a little bit thinner so that my cells will pop up more easily. So that's what I've been doing. This purple's a little bit thicker than the others by the looks of it. It's leaving a mound on top. It'd be so nice if uh, paints could just be the same consistency. All the paints in one brand could be the same. Wouldn't that be joyous? That'd be too easy, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, let me get all this paint out. The cup's got a little bit more than this one here. So let's pop a little bit more into him. I feel like it's been a little while since I've done a, a flip and drag. I've been doing sandwich pours and I've been doing ghost pours and flip-flop pours. And so let's just do a good old flip and drag, hey? Okay, so I've shown you my white, the Montmartre Studio Acrylic. And then the pink one is called Hibiscus. That one is Coastal Turquoise. It's a bluey aqua colour. And then we've got the Dioxazine Purple that I make. And that one's just regular purple. So not a lot of difference in those. Hopefully just enough to have a little bit of contrast. Smooth my blobs over. I don't like leaving the big blobs because if you drag that down and then it, you have a little blob on the side, once it blends in, it doesn't look very nice. So you're better off just getting rid of it now. <coughs> All right. Paint has released already. Let's do this. Pretty, pretty. Oh, look at that dioxazine. Pretty, pretty. Okay. Wow, look at those cells. <laughs> oh, gosh. How different is the global to the uh, Montmartre though? Like, my cells don't pop up automatically like that with the Montmartre. Strange. Okay, so now I'm going to tilt to cover the surface. Try not to lose too much paint. I can't even use a corner catcher because it's not a canvas. <laughs> It's a bit tricky with the card. Look, I've got a cell right there and it's not even on my card. It's on the cookie cooling rack. Just sitting there, floating. Okay. Let's go the other way. Get the paint moving. Get the weight of the paint to do what you want it to do. Okay, that's 
looking good. It's looking more than good. It's looking lovely, I must say. Okay, now, wipe my hands, give it a torch, and then I can tilt just a little bit more to get some um, bigger cells, eh? saying it every time but people don't listen they're still getting too close you get too close you get colonies you get caterpillars people don't listen <laughs> it's frustrating you know I'm trying to help and they don't listen right oh look at those little babies yes you are you're just little cute babies aren't you Let's give them a couple of seconds to grow. I wonder why I got a few more in that middle section there when I, as soon as I flipped them over, I got some. Hmm. Who knows? Love these colours together though, hey? Now, what do I want to keep? What do I not want to keep? Now the way my mind is thinking at the moment, this is very narrow here, this middle cup. It's got squished, so I'm going to see if I can push that down a little bit. Uh, just to open up that middle section, so kind of go off that corner there. Mm, no, it doesn't really want to open up. It's It's been squished and that's how it's staying. A lot of times when you have got a thinner section in the middle there, it's really hard to, to get it to stretch because you go that way and this all comes down and still squishes it. So it's a little bit tricky to do. I just want to do some torching just in there and get a couple of little cells up and then when I tilt they will stretch a bit more. light side so funny how you always get half that's different or you get one cup that's totally different to the other two cups it's a bit bizarre I'm still not liking this little area down here it's got a lot of like weird shaped cells in it so again because the middle section had a lot it's kind of got a lot of paint in it because it's been squished to the side, so it's got a lot more paint sitting there. That's why I'm getting those weird shaped cells on the bottom there. I'm going to hang on to this before I lose it right off the rack. <laughs> okay, that's a bit better. It's a bit better. It looks galactic. It's so pretty. It's been a long time since I've used Global. and Now I know why I used to use Global. I mean, I'm not, I used to. I still use Global. But um, it's really pretty. I can't, I can't open that middle section up. It's just going to stay squished, unfortunately. Okay, that's really pretty, I really like that. So a mix of the global with the Montmartre white and the Montmartre white you can see it's making beautiful rings um, around the cells. I'm just going to pause this and see what my dogs are on about. I went outside <laughs> and um, 
out on the deck, the back deck, there's a man walking around out there. And at first I thought, oh my God, who's that? And then I realized it was my son. <laughs> uh, he snuck in. It's no one else here, you see, it's just me. And the dogs just went off. So I thought, oh, what's going on here? I thought maybe there was a delivery, but no, nah, it was just Shane. <laughs> so I said, I'll be right with you, Shane. I'll just finish my video and be right with you. Okay, that looks really quite pretty, doesn't it? Look at that magenta stripe through the center there on the right. I'm quite impressed. Oh, that's better. Turn off that bright light. Look at those colors. It really, really makes such a difference when you get your mix right. You know, if your mix is too thick, your cells are all fuzzy. Um, you don't get those beautiful rings around them. And that's what we're all after, isn't it? Those beautiful rings, multicolored rings around our cells. That's why we do this. Well, flip cut paws anyway. Those of you that don't do flip cut paws, you won't appreciate the fact. But um, yeah, that's why we, we do it. So we've got the lighter section there. Beautifully shaded with the turquoise into the purple and then into the pink. And then this middle one, it's a bit darker. It's got the magenta and the dark purple into the light purple. And then this one's opposite. It's got the dark purple blending into the bit of turquoise there. Look at those white cells. So pretty. Really like this. And so, yes. The 60-40 mix works well. I would say better, actually, than the 65-35. So I'm going to go and mix all my bottles that are 65-35 down to 60-40. It's going to be a little bit of a mathematical challenge, that isn't it? But I'll see how I go. I'm sure I can work it out. All right, come around here, show you this side. So that's it. Love it. Love, love, love it. I've been actually really successful with all my pores lately. My cells have been really good. Uh, I have concentrated on making my mix a little bit thinner so that I have got, got those beautiful rings, a um, bit more paint, cover the canvas first, torch, and then just tilt a little bit. And you saw how easy that was. Just tilt it a little bit just to stretch all those cells. So that's how I've been doing it lately and it's been really working for me. So there we go. Thank you ever so much for watching again. And I better go and have a chat with Shane. They're off to New Zealand in a few days. So go and see how he's going. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.